Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Multi-Voice Entertainment. I am the Multi-Voice Reviewer. I have many voices, but one opinion. And uh, I know some of you are still waiting for the, uh, for the Doctor Who audio that I announced on my last video. I'm still working on it. I'm just still waiting for two more lines for two of my friends. I mean, I'm still waiting for them to finish recording their lines so I could edit it all together. So, I decided to go back to basics in my usual review. And since I know some of you did uh, enjoy my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles saves the Justice League and the Teen Titans, something did occur to me. Since I've been uh, looking up a lot of stuff on the MCU lately, I mean, I am... I'm still waiting to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3... And I heard that Star-Lord's going to appear on Thor Love and Thunder, which I'm looking forward to see. I mean, I'm not much of a Thor fan, but uh, I would like to um, see that uh, Thor Love and Thunder and see what Star-Lord has done in the movie. And also, and also, I hear a lot of good things about uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, since it's all got to got to involve a multiverse, and I love a good multi-alternate universe story, so I'm looking forward to see Doctor Strange and Mad Multiverse of Madness. But one thing I am uh, curious, I mean, one thing it did occur to me, the MCU wasn't the only, um, wasn't the only, uh, comic book company that Disney owned. Believe it or not, there are two, repeat, two comic book base heroes. I mean, they don't have any superpowers, but they are declared heroes. Disney had made movies of them back in the 90s, and they weren't Marvel. They were from another company. And uh, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, comic book heroes... I mean, Disney comic book heroes before Marvel. And the one thing I'm going to be talking about that I'm going to begin with, that I remember in my little kid, as a little kid, there was a, there was that one movie that came out that I remember when I was a kid called The Rocketeer. Now, one thing I have to say about The Rocketeer that The Rocketeer was based in a comic book back in 1982. You know, that kind of surprised me because, uh, I mean, I did a lot of research about The Rocketeer. He's supposed to be a some kind of hero with a jet pack and flies around battling against Nazis during World War II. And I always thought that comic book, I mean, I thought the comic book itself was made back in the 40s, but no, it isn't. It was made in the 80s. Hmm. And, of course, we have the cast members. Billy Campbell and Jennifer Conroy. Now... Billy Campbell, he plays the Rocketeer, and how his origin goes, he was a stunt airplane pilot who always doing a lot of airplane stunts with his with his with his airplane, even though he always keeps ending up crashing. Until from out of nowhere, he sees this uh, odd device. It just fell right in his car because some bad guy put it there to make sure that the Nazis won't get to it. And it turns out to be a jetpack. And his friend worked it out. And uh, turns out that he can fly around like a jet. And of course another thing he needed was a helmet. So his friend crafted a special helmet that he can fly around without any problems. And Jennifer Conroy, his love interest, her character is named Jenny Blake who is a struggling actress. And uh, the bad guy in the story is, of course, Timothy Dalton, who plays this, uh, I mean, Timothy Dalton here.
he plays a bad guy who uh, turns out that he's like the Errol Flynn like actor. He always appear in a lot of fencing movies, and uh, but it turns out secretly that he's in league with the mob and the Nazis. And all he's trying to do is trying to find that jetpack, that rocket, so he can give it to the to the Germans so they can win World War II. But uh, our hero, he uses it for good in battling against mobsters and Nazis who wants to create problems for America. In a little known fact, the difference between the comic book and the movie, believe it or not, in the comic books, the Rocketeer's real love interest in the comics wasn't exactly Jenny Blake, Jennifer Conroy's character. Jennifer Conroy's character was made up for the movie because in the comic book, his real love interest is none other than Betty Page. Now, back then I didn't know anything about Betty Page. I mean, the only classic... Uh, um, Actress and model is, of course, uh, Marilyn Monroe, until I saw this movie, The Notorious Betty Page. I saw that movie, and now I know everything about her and her history. And now, recently, Disney Jr. did an animated series called The Rocketeer, where it's not the Rocketeer himself, but it turns out that he has a daughter, and she herself got a jetpack. And she's going through her adventures. And if you guys want to see the Rocketeer, you can easily find that movie on Disney+. Plus. You can't miss it. Sadly, I don't have a Disney+, Plus, so I can't watch it. And now I heard that IDW now owns the comic book series of The Rocketeer. Hmm. So, Disney owned the theatrical rights of The Rocketeer, but not the comics? Gee. I mean, since The Rocketeer was part of Disney, at least they should have given uh, The Rocketeer an apparent be part of the MCU. But, guess not. But, besides The Rocketeer, let's talk about a detective. A police detective who has a wrist radio. None other than Dick Tracy. Now, one thing I know about Dick Tracy, that he was based by the bunch of comic strips, you know, the comics you see on newspapers. He appeared on a bunch of comic strips back in 1934. And, uh, of course, back in the 1940s, there were tons of Dick Tracy movies back in the 40s played by Morgan Conway. But, of course, let's talk about the movie itself that Disney made. Disney made this movie starring Warren Beatty and Madonna as Dick Tracy and Breathless Mahoney, the, uh, the vamp girl. And, and of course, I have heard about what goes on behind the scenes on the movie Dick Tracy, that Warren Beatty had an affair with Madonna behind the scenes. And, of course, in the story, Dick Tracy, who is a cop detective, and he always communicates with other police officers with this race radio, way before walkie-talkies were invented. And he's battling against crooks that looks exactly like their names are. And the main bad guy is, of course, Big Boy Caprice, Big Boy Caprice, played by Al Pacino, and the other goons who look exactly like their names. And, um, 
And you can just easily find that Dick Tracy movie. It's not part of Disney Plus. I was kind of surprised on that one because since Disney made the movie, I thought it would be on Disney Plus, just like The Rocketeer. But no, it's not. Believe it or not, the Dick Tracy movie, you can easily find it on Tubi. And if you want to see the uh, 1940s movies, you can find it in other media like Amazon Prime and all the other stuff like uh, Pluto TV and Tubi. But if it's up to me, since I can find the Warren Beatty movie on Tubi, I figure, what the hell? I could find the classic uh, 40s movie on Tubi as well because kill two birds with one stone. And believe it or not, just like The Rocketeer, they did a brand new comic book series of Dick Tracy, and it's owned by IDW. So, I doubt if Dick Tracy ever make an appearance for the MCU. Because now, Dick Tracy and The Rocketeer are both owned by... IDW. Huh. Would it be interesting if they did a crossover? Uh, the Rocketeer meets Dick Tracy? That would have been interesting. But anyway, these are the things I'm going to be telling you folks for today. I mean, if I ever decided to dig in more about it and tell more about The Rocketeer and Dick Tracy... I mean, I'll do a proper review about them, but right now I'm just, uh, I'm just, just, I'm just giving you the facts, and that's it. So this is my uh, my talk about today. If any of you enjoyed this um, this uh, talk about those two movies, please leave a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe for more reviews, and you can and please stay tuned for the new Doctor Who with my dear friend Yana being the doctor, called the Beware the Clockwork Girl. And um, I'll probably get back to basics again, but till now, till next week.